Hey guys, Jelby Zombie here, a very ill Jelby Zombie. You know, it's amazing how in one video, which was yesterday, I unwrapped the, uh, or I revealed the Queen vinyl, and I was absolutely fine. Now, the day after, I feel like complete shit. I have a really bad immune system, so I've been bulking up, uh, well not bulking up, I have been taking loads of medication to just soothe the pain in my chest, but anyway, this morning, or I should say, uh, so in the previous mystery unboxing, I showed this beauty, which is Fangoria uh, 269 uh, AVPR issue, and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. So, me being me, I ordered another one, and it arrived this morning, and it's here. But the thing is, I had to go to the post office to retrieve it, and someone opened it, as you can see there. And um, I did order, t I ordered two, I ordered two of them, I ordered two magazines. Um, and because I ordered them close together, he must have, um, the seller must have just packaged them in one, which is okay, you know, it's fine. So, I guess this is a, a mystery unboxing, I, I don't know, two in one. Uh, anyway, let's just, let's just get this open and uh, see what we've got, shall we? He does a really good job at taping it up, because I can never get into these bastards. We're in, we're in, okay. So, I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to pick up, uh, pick out a random one, so, uh, I'm going to pick out this one. <laughs> okay, wicked, alright, so, this is Fangoria, issue 169, so it's one of the earlier ones, and it's from 1998, this is my year. And it is the Alien Resurrection issue, which features articles other than Resurrection, Starship, uh, Starship Troopers, an American Wolf in Paris, load of bollocks, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Blade, and The Night Flyer, I believe, uh, which is a film I haven't seen, but I've uh, heard a lot of it. Uh, but yeah, I can definitely tell the difference because it's a lot thinner than the, the newer issues. So this is from 98, and this is from 2007. So I can definitely tell the difference. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it. Oh, shit. Cool. Yeah, I mean, half of the images so far are in black and white. So, um, yeah, you can definitely tell it's one of the older ones. Uh, so let's get to, let's get to the Alien Resurrection article, shall we? Monster Invasions, and it talks a, bit, a little bit about Blade there. There we are. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, this, this magazine, this one in particular, reminds me of a magazine that I own. Um, I'm not sh sure who it's by, but it, it's, a, it's a massive, it's a, it's a magazine telling you about the history of Dracula movies and the character of Dracula. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you're gonna get a lot of that in this video. Um, but yeah, there's a, is that Millennium? Yeah, I, I tell you one thing about Millennium. I always used to see it advertised in um, 20th Century Fox home video releases, such as uh, Alien Resurrection was definitely one of them. Um, I think no, not Predator. It mostly was the Alien films because I had them on home video, and I definitely saw Millennium advertised. Uh, what else we got? It's just talking about Millennium. Uh, Scream 2. Now, this is going to be an interesting article to read upon. Scream 2. That's going to be a very interesting article because I watched Scream 2 a couple nights ago, actually. And, uh, yeah. Scream 2. There we are. There's your article on Scream 2. Okay. Yep, and some more. Scream to goodness. There we are. Okay, give me some Alien Resurrection. Give me the, the video eye. It tells you videos <laughs> back then. Half of them I've never heard of. Like, I often do say this, like, 
Breeders I have actually heard of. Teenagers battle the thing. What the flying monkey fuck? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Uh, Anaconda, obviously I've heard of. Here we go, Alien Resurrection. Show you this right here. Now I do apologize if um, the camera has gone a little bit darker. Um, I think I need to charge my phone. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, my selfie light is running low. So I do apologize if that's gone down a bit. But there's your Alien Resurrection -ish, um, article. So that's all good. That's quite an interesting screen capture actually. That one right there. Just as the alien's about to spit the acid. That's quite an interesting... You have this feeling of very horrible, ugly things. But there's an odd beauty about it. With all the imagery. Quoted by Brad Dourif. Very well quoted Brad. Very well quoted. And then you've got your article on Starship Troopers, which is not a bad film, but um, the sequels were just terrible, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, we've got some more article, um, advertisements, I guess, on movie makeup. And then we've got a picture of the Xenomorph there, which is good. Jason from Jason Goes to Hell and Pinhead, or Lead Cenobite, whatever you want to call them jump cut, apologies for that, um, but yeah, it was definitely Nightflyer that I was talking about, right there, and it seems that this issue of Fangoria has uh, a lot to talk about with vampires, I mean, we've got, we've got, you know, both of the Vampire Slayer, we've got Blade, <coughs> excuse me, and we've got uh, Nightflyer, so, yeah, I mean, I, <coughs> I definitely do want to check this film out, because it does look... I mean, I haven't seen it, so if any of you guys seen it, please let me know what it's like. But it looks really good. The Night Flyer doesn't make two little bite holes like in the past. We go right for the jugular. Just like a zombie. Brilliant. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. Look at that. Get your own Puppet Master dolls. How much, I want to know. You can get Blade and Six Shooter. How much? $14.95 each. That's reasonable for the time. Ah, talking about laser discs. Okay. We've got Night of the Living Dead, The Craft, The Exorcist, Dracula Prince of Darkness, which I've never seen on laser disc. I do want to pick up my very own laser disc, and I know exactly what my first one would be. It would definitely be the Japanese version of The Evil Dead on laser disc. You've got some spawn. Um, advertisements there for jewellery. I know exactly my best mate, uh, who's probably watching this, as he always does, would like some of these, I can imagine, because he's a, he's a metalhead and he likes the, the type of designs. Um, and I think he's familiar with the character of Spawn. Then we've got both, uh, both of the Vampire Slayer, which is good. Movie magazine, so you've got some more advertisements. That's one thing I like about Fangoria. They never fail to advertise, which is good. So, pretty much, um, that's it for this issue. I'm going to cut this one short with this issue. Uh, you've got an advertisement for The Last House on the left, right there. And I love the tagline. I absolutely love the tagline. Because it was a video nasty back in the UK, um, back in its day. And the tagline was, it's only a movie. Only a movie, only a movie, only a movie. And it just... To, to, it said, like, to keep yourself from fainting, just keep repeating, it's only a movie, it's only a movie. I love that. Uh, you've got an article on Bram Stoker's The Mummy. Right there. Right, I'm going to cut this one short because I want to move on to the other one. Uh, oh, okay. Wishmaster, which is cool. I've only seen the first movie. I haven't seen the rest. What the fuck? Christ almighty. Yep, put that in a children's book. Give them nightmares for weeks. Okay. Right. Okay, so this is where I'm going to cut this one short, but yeah. Oh. Uh, American Wolf in Paris. It's fucking shit. Like, it relies too much on too much on CGI, and it's just... It's rubbish. It's rubbish. Doesn't come anywhere near 
as good as the American one off in London. Then you've got uh, advertisements on back issues and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, that's the Alien Resurrection issue, which is uh, good. Really pleased with that one. All right, then. This was the other one that I ordered, and this is the 25th anniversary edition of Fangoria. And it's an article on Alien vs. Predator, the 2004 movie. And this is issue number 234. And it's got an article, surprisingly, on Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2, actually. Uh, Sam Raimi spins Spider-Man 2 and New Terrors. Top 25 fright flicks. Special guest writers include Robert Englund, Doug Bradley, um, John Landis, uh, Bill Mosley, uh, Mr. Del Toro. So, yeah, we've got loads and loads of... This is going to be a really good one, I can already tell. And the cover's amazing. All right. So there's your front. That's what you were introduced to. I've got a little Hellraiser picture up there. All right, then. Again, this is something my best buddy would be interested in, Lord of the Rings, because he loves his fantasy stuff. Um, never been one for fantasy, I haven't. I don't really... I'm not interested in fantasy at all. Uh, right, let's get to the Alien vs. Predator article. Oh, my fucking God. <coughs> uh, please do excuse me. What an amazing advertisement that is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We are still going to eat you. Uh, the 25th anniversary special edition. Uh, out 2004. Two discs, four hours of features, Zombie 2. This July, the Fulci classic returns, and once again, the dead are among us. Brilliant. Fantastic. Alright then. Uh, Fango's top 25 horror movies. So, starting with 1979, we've got Dawn of the Dead. Brilliant. It's a classic movie. You can't really complain. Then we go straight to 1980 with Friday the 13th. I'm actually going to say right here, I actually prefer The Burning to Friday the 13th. It's just, I think The Burning is such, it, it's a better movie. <laughs> I mean, Friday the 13th is quite slow, but The Burning just goes for it. I'm not saying Friday the 13th doesn't, but I love The Burning. It's my favourite, or actually no, it's one of my favourite slashes. What we got here? An American Wolf in London with 1981. Great picture of the Kessler werewolf there. Then we've got The Thing from 1982. The remake. And it's a remake. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, I really did not expect that to be in there. But we're going straight to 1983. With my favourite film of all time. The Evil Dead. I am going to read that straight away after I've recorded this. I should have I should have really expected it really because you know it, it talks about Sam Raimi. Another fucking jump cut, seriously. Someone does not want me to get through this video tonight. I mean ignorant fucking bastard anyway. Uh yeah, so like I was saying I should have really expected the Evil Dead to be in here somewhere because the, it talks about Sam Raimi. So, I mean, let's get back to where I was. Okay, I've, I've already seen what's featured now, so I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, right, here I, here I go. Right, so this talks about the Evil Dead right there. That looks really good. Um, Ramsey Campbell. Hmm, so that article was done by Ramsey Campbell. Not sure if that's a relative of uh, Bruce Campbell. So who were the others done by? The Thing article was jo uh, done by John Landis, and an American Wealth in London article was done by Philip N uh, Newtman. Friday the 13th was done by Peter M. Uh, Brake? Brecky? Some people have really hard to pronounce names. Uh, and Dawn of the Dead was done by David J. Shaw. So, yeah, there we are. And then, obviously, there's Sam Raimi's. Spider-Man 2, I'm really looking forward to reading that, as you can tell. Uh, so yeah, there's Spider-Man 2. I'm going to I'm gonna skip uh, Spider-Man 2. The reason why I skip half of the pages is because if you do pick up these, I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, 
So then we go to 1984 with A Nightmare on Elm Street, and surprisingly, this article was uh, written by Doug Bradley. So that's cool. And then we go to 1985 with Reanimator. Then we go to 1986 with The Fly, the remake, the David Cronenberg movie. Then straight to 1987 with Hellraiser, which was done by Robert Englund. The article was uh, written by Robert Englund. So that's great. And then 1988, we've got The Vanishing. Now, I, d I don't know if, if this film, The Vanishing, is similar to the Jeff Bridges movie, uh, but the Jeff Bridges movie is awesome. It's great stuff. The one with Kiefer Sutherland and Sandra Bullock. It's a great movie. And then you've got your advertisements there for more Fangoria. There's one that I already own, Jeepers Creepers 2. Spanish Werewolf in LA. Strange. Alright, let's get to Alien vs Predator, because that's what I really came for. <laughs> Wicked. Alright. Uh, humans are just collateral damage when extraterrestrial extra species collide. I can never say that word, extraterrestrial, but there we are, there's your AVP article. Creature Warfare. That's great. My thoughts on Alien vs. Predator. Um, it's okay, but I prefer Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. Uh, people are going to kill me for that. But, yeah, I, I prefer Requiem. I just think it's a better movie. And then we've got 1989 with Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. And then in 1990, we've got Jacob's Ladder. And then in 1991, we've got Silent of the Lambs. And then in 1992, we've got Dead Alive. Brain Dead. Um, believe it or not, I've never seen Brain Dead or Dead or Alive. Never seen it. Uh, do I want to watch it? I don't know. I don't know, because it seems like over-the-top gore. But then again, Evil, Evil Dead was over-the-top gore. Um, and my selfie light is fading again. But it doesn't last long. 1983, we've got Kronos. And there we are. Article on Godzilla. Which is cool. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through this because I'm running out of time guys, but uh, overall this is uh I said that the the that's cool. That's cool. Overall I said that last time that this one was the best so far. Changed my mind. This one's the best so far, because it's got an article on Alien vs. Predator and The Evil Dead. Uh, two of my favourite things. But mind you, this one did have an article on Alien vs. Predator, but it also had a little advertisement for The Evil Dead. Speaking of Evil Dead, I have ordered another thing for the next mystery unboxing to do with Evil Dead. Um... I'm not going to say what it is, obviously. But then we've got uh, 1994 with The Crow. And then we've got 1995 with Seven, which is a fantastic movie. I love Seven. Um, come on. 1996, we've got Scream. And 1997, we've got Crash, which I've never heard of. What does this go up to? 1998 with Ringu. Which is the Japanese version of the ring. Um, and then finishing with 1999, I think, with the Blair Witch Project. Right there. Maybe not. Then we've got 2002, Frailty, with Bill Paxton. Never seen that movie, but I've heard of it. And then we've got 2003 with 20 year, uh, 28 Days Later. When are they going to make 28 Years Later? I think they should make that movie. And that's it for that uh, for this Fangoria. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. This has been a double mystery unboxing. I've got to cut this really short because I'm about to run out of time. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.
Take care. I'm off to read that Evil Dead article. Take care.